Roblox Deathball has released so many cool swords ranking from common all the way up to mythicals, which so many players are grinding every day to get. And what caught my eye out of all these weapons is the mythicals, because players are trying to spend millions of gems trying to trade for a mythical, or open one of these packs to get an opportunity to unlock one of these super rare blades. And after seeing all this, it gave me an idea. I'm going to be collecting every single mythical blade in Deathball just to see how hard it is to get these mythical blades. Even the Enigma blade, which I heard is the rarest blade in the game just because you can't even get it anymore, unless somebody sells it to you because the car packs are completely gone. And I heard there's actual people selling the Enigma for 5 million gems or higher. So let's go see how lucky I can get. Let's go. So I got a crazy story to tell you guys and you won't even believe it. Before I started this video, I started a live where I 1v1 one of the developers of Death Ball. His name was Wise and here's a picture of him. Surprisingly, I ended up beating him in a 1v1 and he gave me like 3,000 Robux. Then he gave me some cool swords as well. But that's not even the craziest part. I met a guy named Slayer and let me tell you, this man blessed me so much, like I was speechless. He actually gave me like at least seven to eight mythicals and if you don't believe me here's the clip right here Who's slayer what is a uh oh. you sure slayer you sure are you sure nah this is wild bro i don't know who slayer is bro but this man i might have to drop this man a follow bro i ain't gonna lie bro Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, insane, right? I know, I know. The crazy part is I just joined a random server and he just happened to be here chilling. So this is Slayer, guys. This is the guy that blessed me up. So shout out to him because he actually helped me with part of my challenge in this video. So since he gave me all those mythicals, I was able to collect almost all of them. The only ones I need left is the Enigma, the Amethyst Oblivion, and it also was the Nutcracker at the time, but I'm gonna get into the story about that shortly. But other than that, we collected almost every mythical, even the new Christmas mythicals. In regards to the mythical Nutcracker Blade, this was one of my most important blades to get yet. Only because this comes from the Xmas pack, and I don't think these packs are going to last forever. So once they're gone, they're gone, and they're probably going to be worth a lot. But luckily, I met somebody named Tsuki who was actually selling this for only 98,000 gems, which was really good because I seen other ones selling them for 200k or even 1 million. So I had to buy this immediately before somebody else saw it. So thank you to Suzuki because she helped me a lot with this video. With this, it only left me with two mythicals I need to get left. The Oblivion and also the Enigma. And I had a plan for that. Before I do anything else, I do have like 1.4 million gems, which should be enough to get an Oblivion. But the only thing is, I don't know anyone that's selling an Amethyst Oblivion. So if we go based off how much it's worth, it's 750k. I should definitely have enough to get it. So I need to find out who's selling one though. Let's see. Anyone selling Oblivion Blade? Anyone? Nobody has an Oblivion Blade? Any rich people? Bruh. This is gonna be harder than I thought. See, the thing is, I know people want gems. Gems is actually the hardest thing to come across in this game. And I have a lot of gems, so I know I can buy it off somebody if somebody's selling one. So I'm gonna check through these people's stands to see if anybody even has one. And as of right now, I'm very disappointed, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh my God, 1.2 million for a godly? An S? I don't even, why, what? You put one letter on a freaking sword and then it's worth everything. And he say he has dual wields. Where's what grass? What grass? Where are you? Who's what grass? Where's what grass? I need what grass? Oh wait, no, no, there you are. Hey, bro, bro, bro. I'm right here. So this is what grass. Oh, he does have dual wields. Hey, what's up, man? How much you selling them for? All right, I'm gonna offer him 800K gems. You wanna start low? One million? Ah, uh, one million? Uh, all right, let's do it, let's do it. 900K for dual wields? Come on, take 900K, bro. Let's go. Is he gonna take it? All right, there we go. He said, wow. What do you mean, wow? Is wow and like good? This man said he wants one mil. So, scammers, man, fine. Take the one million. I'll just get it back later. All right, accept the trade. Come on, bro. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Ah, yes, sir. We got ourselves Amethyst Blades. I need to see what these look like on me. Oh my gosh, I knew it. It would make me look so much cooler. Hey, good doing business with you, my friend. I appreciate you. You definitely helped out a lot. Now I'm broke again. Actually, not, not technically. I still got 400K. I'm still pretty rich. All right, so let's check this index now. That just leaves me with one weapon left. And I'm not really too stressed about getting gems. The only problem is trying to sell swords so I can get more gems to buy the Enigma. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would say the coolest sword that looks cool on me is honestly the Colossal Blazehead. These are by far the coolest mythicals I've ever seen in my life. Like, like look at it. It makes me look. I don't know. The orangest, neon, bluish type of look makes me look two times cooler. If somebody was to actually say, what is your favorite mythical? I would say these are by far just because I'm a big fan of Naruto and these look super cool But don't worry guys. I'm gonna show you every single mythical by the end of this video All right So since I need just enigma I think my next strategy is I'm gonna open some divine packs Which has the divine shadow blade which literally costs a million per blade So I'm gonna go ahead and open some of these and try to get some divine shadow so I can sell them on the market After 
After opening Divine Packs, I decided to look for a stand so I could start selling some of the weapons. I was lucky enough to get the Divine Shadow, which was worth a million gems, and some other godly weapons that were good too. And I was hoping purchases was going to be made fast, but I sat in here for 20 to 30 minutes with no results at all. After some time, I think I wasn't making that much sales just because the servers were small, but we started getting a lot more people in the servers, and that's when the purchases were starting to be made. I ended up selling a couple of items that actually were worth a lot, which helped me stack up some more gems. So shout out to everybody that was in here buying my stuff. After making all those sales, I ended up finding somebody named Kuro Nico who was willing to trade me for a Divine Shadow. They was offering a bunch of blaze heads and also 196,000 gems, which I felt like it was a good deal because honestly, there's just not a lot of people that have a million gems to buy a Divine Shadow. So if I got all those items, I could sell those and make more money faster. And I think it was a good deal because they were all dual wields as well. So after making a deal, I thanked Nico and we had a little conversation before I moved on to my next mission. So having my final mission being get the Enigma, you won't believe what happened in this next clip. I'm not gonna be broke, losing 3.7 million. So what, what would you do for the Enigma? You will make my world if I can get that sword. You're the last piece of my key, man. Look at me in my eyes. That sword is the last piece. What do you want for it? So I'm doing a video where I'm collecting every mythical and he has the last sword. I need. I have every single mythical but that one. So what you say? What you what you got, bro? I could literally trade two enigmas. Are you selling the blade or what are you trying to do? Yeah, bro, I can get one gem. You want one gem? I have to be on the thumbnail. Hmm. You want to be on the thumbnail? Fine. I'll put you on the thumbnail if you trade me the enigma. Looking forward to that bacon thumbnail. I won't be able to put your username in there. It'll have to just be the body. But I mean, you'll be in the video too. You said bro wants clout. What you mean, bro wants clout? Who me? What you think? What you think? I don't want clout, I'm bacon. <laughs> all your gems for this one? That's fine. I'll give you all my gems. You want to do it right now, bro? I'll give you all my gems right now, bro. Don't do it. He's scamming you. Why would I be a scammer? I literally just said I'm a YouTuber, bro. He literally offered it, bro. How about this? Do us a favor, Mac. No, no, Mac, Mac. Just jump off and stay at the bottom, okay? Omega, Omega. Can you show me the Elf Enforcer pretty please? Elf Enforcer, uh, I got you. Exactly. For what? Nothing. I mean, some people were selling it for like 80k and stuff. This man, Mac, what did this man has 650k rap talking? Like, what's good with you, bro? Bro, what does that have to do with anything? You're broke! Do you want me to say it any nicer to you? You're broke! Yeah, 140k, what was it? I don't even know what your name is. Mac and cheese, whatever, I don't even care. You thought I was one of these nice YouTubers that's gonna be like, oh, please don't be me. No, no, I'm gonna talk to you how I talk to you, all right, bro? Is that your girl in the background? You better watch out, man. You're weird for jumping up here and jumping in business. It's an A, B conversation. See your way out of it. No, 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 no. Actually, no, this is an A, B, C, D, E conversation. You need to F your way out of it. I'm going to have to hop back on in an hour. I mean, no problem, bro. If you can't do it right now, then just let me know. I'll be grinding. If not, then I'll, I'll buy it. So after me and Subu's conversation, he told me to wait for an hour just so he could transfer the Enigma Blaze to his other account, which was the account I was talking to in person. And at first, I was a little skeptical because this man said he had hundreds of Enigmas, and I honestly didn't think he was going to actually give me the Enigma. Just because they're worth literally 5 million just for one of them. And that's not even dual wields. But you know, I stayed in the game hoping that he was going to do it. And I just sat there and just talked to people and just connect and have a good time. And then the moment came. The moment of truth. I waited for one hour for this moment. And the time has come. Let's do the trade. Alright, let me give you everything I have left. Oh my god, I can't believe it, bro. I can't believe it. This is insane. One. Ah! Yo, bro. No way. Oh my god. I mean, I was wondering what this would look like on me, and I have to say, yo, this is beautiful. You helped me out, Sue. Shout out to this man, bro. Like, what is this sword? You want to know what this sword is, my friend? This is the rarest sword in the game right now. So we officially have every single mythical in the game. And just to show you the proof, we're going to go to the index and show you the swords one more time. All right, so here's the first row. Here's the second row. Here's the third row. And here's the fourth row for the last two. And once again, W's for Sue because, man, these swords literally run for 5 million. And he was nice enough to give it to me for 440,000 gems. Like, that's like a miracle that you would never see in Death Ball. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would say this video is definitely a mix of luck, blessings, and also grind all at the same time. I'm still shocked to this day that all this happened. And make sure you guys like it up. And of course, I'm going to show you a display of every single mythical right now. So enjoy the show.